Jeff Petty to come on up because um, I think one of the challenges for any U.S. physician is going to be um, learning how to do the small incision surgery um, because our expertise is in FACO. So um, thank you very much, Jeff. My pleasure. So, so there are a number of different ways to both get introductions to uh, Sutra the Sextor Cap and then also to learn it as well. Uh, both the Academy meeting, ASCRS meeting, has a wet lab, also has um, actually now multiple lectures uh, where it, uh, you can learn this. Um, I've been asked to uh, discuss how to prepare yourself uh, for international outreach and um, we're going to actually dive right in. So honestly, all, all about expectations. This is where you really have to have honest conversations with yourself, but also with the group you're going with. Because if your expectations are different than their expectations for you, that never ends well. And this is one of my favorite quotes. I actually don't remember if I made this up, because I was looking for a quote about this, and I could never find one. And sometimes I just make up quotes that I want to quote. So truth be told, this may just be for me. But I really believe this, and I think this is incredibly important. Uh, and, and again, it all goes back to expectations. So. Um, this one's an important one because you'll be stressed. You're going to be jet lagged. You're going to be hungry. Your bowels are never quite right. And you're going to be stressed. So think of like your worst day in the OR. And, and how do you react? Like, like be honest. You know, are, are you kind of, do you get really angry? Do you throw things? Like, do you throw like a small tantrum? I'm not judging. I'm just saying know yourself. Because you really have to understand what it's going to be like when you are stressed out of the maximum because you absolutely will be. On a recent trip, uh, we went with another institution and, and the chair there brought their best cataract surgeon. He basically came and said, like, this is our guy. He's going to be awesome. It was his first outreach trip. He was there for three cases and then he left the OR for a day and a half because he was so shell-shocked. And again, uh, he came back, he's going to do amazingly, but it was just a really intense experience. So knowing how you're going to respond to stress. Uh, learning curve for new equipment. Uh, in my hands, I would say every single time I have had a complication in the past two years is when I've been trying out some new piece of equipment. Uh, and this is really important. So here, this is a, a, a micro utrata. I'm using it through a paracentesis and I'm grabbing the flap and I have an AC run out there, an AC tear. And the reason that that occurred, and I'll just show it one more time, is because with this particular instrument, you can grab the anterior capsule right there, not the flap, the anterior capsule. And I grab that, and then it tore out. So when you get there, it's very likely, unless you're traveling with your own instrument, every single instrument will be one that you've likely never had exactly that type of instrument. And so take the one instrument experience in your practice, and then apply that to every instrument, including poor visualization because the optics will not be as good. It will likely be the most difficult cataracts that you've done the entire year, and they will be consecutive like that. And that's not saying that to really scare anyone off. It's just that's the reality, and, and it's going to, I don't know, analogous to going back to your first uh, OR day. This is Dr. Bill Barlow. He's at the Moran Eye Center. He's not much of an international traveler. He's really, uh, however, he had the unfortunate experience of getting dengue on an adventure travel. Uh, this uh, particular adventure travel excursion was a Disney cruise where he went on to like uh, a Mexico beach for a couple of hours one day. And he got dengue, fevers of 105. It's called breakback fever, not brokeback, breakback fever, something like that for a reason. Uh, at any rate, um, it hurts. So go to a travel clinic. Even if you've gone to the country before, go to the travel clinic. You're going to pick up a couple of tips. Uh, it's going to keep you safe. And honestly, if you go somewhere and you spend five days like curled over in the fetal position next to the toilet, that's not really the expectation I imagine you had going into this. One tip that's really interesting. So one thing that's been really helpful, Alan Crandall's also a reverend. It's not actually difficult to become a reverend, but if you write Reverend Alan Crandall on all of your equipment and boxes that you're bringing in, somehow that greases the wheels with certain people. So I'm not saying you have to do this, and I'm not kidding. He is actually a reverend. He, he, he did. He's actually married a few people, not in Utah style where you marry a few people, but a few people, a few people wanted to get married, and he performed the ceremony. All right, health and wellness, uh, get in shape, jet lag, diet. Roger, uh, this was really funny. One of these docs that we were on a trip with in Tanzania recently, he came out of the yard and he's like, what's up with you Utah doctors? You guys are all jacked. Because Alan Crandall's like a pretty like bulky, strong guy. Roger Furlong, he wears like really tight OR scrubs, so it makes it look like his arms are big. 
Um, I wasn't bringing a lot to say, but basically, um, getting in shape ahead of time, get an exercise routine. I do yoga every time I travel because after the however long you travel on the plane, like you just can't like fold the way that you used to. So um, that's something that's been really important for me. One of my favorite tips about learning the culture, I think this was Rick Steves who said it, but I don't remember exactly. Um, get a book about the country, but maybe don't consider getting a travel guide. Consider getting a book of literature, like a book of either you know fiction that took place in a city. It will give you a different flavor for the place and different understanding of the people. Uh, it's something that um, I've appreciated on a couple of trips when I've done that. Uh, learn some basic language techniques. and. Um, this is one of my favorite pictures ever on an outreach trip. If you look at the picture on top with the cute little couple and then the thug behind. <laughs> the thing that's crazy, like even the sweet girl is flashing gang signs. And seriously, every time you'd go to take pics in Micronesia of these kids, they, like a couple of them would get like these hardcore faces and just be like, yeah. So <laughs> I miss that. Um, final thing. Uh, we've talked a lot about sutras, extra caps, or cataract surgery. We're, we're, um, if you're going on a trip and your expectation is you are going to learn this, you better make very clear that is your expectation. And you better make sure that their expectation is not that you are already experienced in it. Because if you come into that setting and they have to spend three or four days with you at a slit lamp as opposed to three or four days with some of the local trainees at a slit lamp, um, that potentially in that loss when we have resources here that we can learn the surgery ahead of time. So finally, uh, remember this. You may not be the best surgeon on the trip. And indeed, on this trip, I certainly was not the best surgeon. Um, I was the fourth best surgeon <laughs> out of five because Senator Rand Paul was there. And I'm just going to say I'm better than he is. Um, so here's the thing as well. But I'll just leave you with this little bit, OK? The, the beauty about sutureless extra cap and small incision is, is the following. Um, the last day after some of the media had cleared out and things on this trip, we set up like in a corner, like just a, a table essentially. We, we hung a BSS bag and just started doing sutureless extra caps in this like little teeny space. And the cool thing was you have Alan Crandall doing FACO, you have David Chang doing FACO. And they were taking the most difficult cases and giving them to me and giving them the easy cases. So that's it. <laughs> Mic drop, I'm out. Thank you.